this morning. I'm sitting at a spot where I, the spot where I shot my buck last year. It's an awesome spot. It's a small property, but it connects to some really good timber. And uh, there's some fields down in here, so there's all kinds of bucks in here. Uh, last year, they didn't really show up until about right now. And uh, there's some bucks in here that were in here last year that were bigger than the buck I shot. So I'm hoping they're back and uh, they'll come up in here. buck there that's a good way to start the day just couldn't bring myself to shoot him i'm looking for something just a little bit bigger so i'm gonna stay patient and hope that a bigger one comes by this morning that's a good sign it looks like they're moving so hopefully i can have some more deer come by since it was so dark. 
sitting on a spot that I haven't sat yet this year. We just recently got pictures of a new shooter buck. Uh, I've never seen him before, but he's really nice eight point with two splits on his left side. So I really expect the deer to move after that rain pushed through. It's kind of windy and cold, but uh, finally some cool weather. I think they should be on their feet. Rained all night, and uh, this is the first cool weather we've had in about a week and a half. So hopefully we can have some luck this morning. shaped out to be a really good hunt. I ended up seeing six bucks and I think around ten does. That one, I, gosh, he was really, really nice. I think he's a pretty young deer, so oh, I definitely could have shot it, but looking for something a little bigger yet again. My encounters with those borderline bucks just keep stacking up, so temperature's been dropping since I've been sitting here. When I got in the stand, it's about 45, and now it's about 39, so Bucks should definitely be moving the rest of the day. I'm gonna get out this evening and uh, not sure where yet, but hopefully I can have some luck then. November 7th, the best day of the year to be hunting in my opinion, and I finally had a quiet, calm morning. They're building a house up here, probably 100 yards to the north, and they put in a road in this tree line here where I'm at, and every single day for the last two weeks, I would come in the morning, and here would come a truck by, or a dozer by, or a ranger by, or something, so had non-stop disruptions and then aside from that going on when they're not working the neighbors are doing yard work making all kinds of racket or the farmers are driving through to cut the beans it has been a rough two weeks trying to hunt but this is where the buck we named heartthrob my girlfriend actually named him because she said I'm more obsessed with him than I am with her <laughs> and she's not wrong but uh, this is where he's living. With all this construction going on, I was really worried that he would be out of here, but I'm still getting pictures of him every night, and uh, I'm just waiting to catch him uh, dog and a doe by me. I feel like I'm in the perfect spot for it, as long as things can stay calm. Uh, already this morning, I had a young buck kind of walk across the CRP, and then another young buck come up to a scrape and his tongue was hanging out and he was just he was just rutting hard so signs are looking good um, I'm gonna hunt all day like I said and uh, hopefully I'll lay eyes on him seen a deer for about three hours now so I think it's about time I get down and go grab a bite to eat um, I'm just glad I finally had a calm morning and saw some bucks so uh, next week temps are gonna be a lot lower and I think the activity is gonna be a lot higher so it's gonna be 75 this evening with uh, like 20 mile an hour winds so 
I'll see if I make it back tonight, but if not, I'll be definitely in the tree uh, tomorrow. So thanks for watching. <laughs>